so I have attached this map here and this is a little assignment for you once I'll be done with this presentation I'll be sharing in Google Classroom about fruits grown in these areas you can see area A and I hope you remember this is the mountainous area towards north of Pakistan and we have area B this is lower Indus plain and we have area C which is the southwestern part of Balochistan now while I discuss these fruits grown in Pakistan I'll be asking you about what kind of fruits can grow in area A, B and C and we'll be discussing it after my presentation. The climatic diversity of Pakistan allows nearly all types of fruits to be grown here. We have temperate, tropical and subtropical fruits growing in Pakistan. Apple, apricot, cherry, peach, pear, plum, grape, strawberry and currants. These are the fruits which are known as temperate fruits and these are grown in Pakistan. Then we have banana, mango, guava, papaya and tamarind. These are some tropical fruits which cannot survive uh, in frost like conditions. So these also grow in Pakistan in the area suitable for their growth and then we have date fig orange and pomegranates these are the subtropical fruits which grow in Pakistan so what areas which areas do they grow in if we talk about the southern part of the country it has tropical climate which is suitable for tropical fruits where temperatures never fall too low and then the plain areas the uh, plateau and the Indus basin of Sindh and Punjab these areas are suitable for subtropical fruits and then we have mountainous areas of KP and Balochistan which are favorable for all types of temperate fruits but in these areas, uh, in these areas, elevation is important because different fruits grow at different elevations because of their temperature requirements. So we have studied that for every thousand meters increase in elevation, the mean temperature decreases about six degrees Celsius. So there would be a lot of variation. Uh, according to elevation in an area and, and generally temperate fruits are fruit crops are grown from about 1000 meter to 2900 meters and we can consider uh, fruits which grow in these areas as plums pears which grow at uh, relatively lower elevations and apples and walnuts and apricot these grow at the highest elevations in these areas. These fruits have uh, better quality at higher elevations although they can grow at 900 meters um, of elevation as well but on higher elevations the temperature conditions are favorable for these fruits. If we talk about grapes and almonds they do not grow on very high elevations you would find these fruits growing uh, to height of near 2200 meters around 2200 meters above these elevations there is insufficient heat for uh, to that help these fruits to get mature or to ripen up some fruits of pakistan are famous internationally Mango is one of these fruits. Mango is a summer fruit and uh, this is also the most preferred fruit in Pakistan. Then we have watermelon which is mostly consumed during summers. Then we have winter fruits of Pakistan which are famous. We have kinu and oranges and then we have apples. 
now these fruits are the best quality of these fruits are sent to international market and uh, the other ones the relatively low qualities of these fruits are sent to local markets balochistan is known as the fruit basket of pakistan because it has some areas which are relatively on higher elevations where fruits such as apricots almonds can grow and at the lower elevations where water is scarce where temperature is very high date palm trees are grown so they have variety of climate and this variety of climate is suitable for different types of fruit crops now i have taken this from an article from daily times this paragraph and once we are done with pres this presentation i would like you to go read this article because this article would help you understand what resources are there what problems uh, these fruit farmers face in balochistan what hurdles do they face in exports and what betterment could be done in future now if we talk about date palm trees we have already studied in chapter water resources that water is scarce in balochistan they rely uh, on kares irrigation system now we studied there that these date palm trees are grown near these are planted near water channels to provide shade and this shade these trees prevent from excessive evaporation apart from being planted around these water channels these trees are also planted around their crops around their fields so it provides them fruit which they consume which they sell in local market some of it is also exported and it also prevents their crops from getting excessively heated or they, these trees prevent the crops from scorching heat and also prevents excessive evapotranspiration just like the other sectors of agriculture fruit farmers also face a lot of problems in pakistan and especially if we talk about the fruit farmers of balochistan or the fruit farmers who are in the mountainous areas now the first problem is lack of refrigeration facilities most of the fruit sent to local markets the national markets of pakistan and most of the fruit which is exported it's sent uh, without refrigeration facilities so if the fruit is coming all the way from quetta to karachi and in quetta it reached from some rural area to the main city and then it came all the way to karachi it takes a lot of time and over the time as the fruit is perishable its quality would start to decrease or it its freshness would not be the same as it was when it was picked so if refrigeration facilities are provided not in only in the area where the fruit is grown but also if it is transported in refrigerated trucks or lorries then its quality could be better by the time it reaches uh, in its market so i was reading this news article recently when uh, kinu were sent to china and these were sent via ship and it took almost a month uh, before these were unloaded and unpacked at their port and just because these were in uh, refrigeration facility in uh, in refrigerated containers the fruit quality was better and these were almost fresh and there was very minimum loss of fruit 
next we have shortage of electricity now shortage of electricity affects water supply most of the farmers fruit farmers depend on tube wells so if there is no electricity it means they would not be able to provide their fruit trees with water so this is a problem which is reducing their productivity then we have a uh, lack of transportation facilities or better roads from the growing areas to the main cities so in the absence of better roads the farmer is unable to supply fruit timely and it as it's perishable and the time would be increased if the road is not properly built so it's going to cause problem and the fruit would start getting ruined next we have poor marketing in international market now there is this lack of marketing in international market because of that a lot of farmers cannot access the international markets and they cannot get to meet with the buyers so this is again a problem and then we have very few processing units now if raw fruit is sent to a country so by the time it would reach there its quality quality would not be the same fruits are perishable most of the fruits are so sending raw fruit to especially to developed countries is not a good idea so if processing units are present uh, in the areas where fruit is grown processed or value added product could be sold in the international market so uh, i'll i'll give you example of give you an example of uh, mango so we export mango raw mango but if we talk about our neighboring country if we talk about india india exports mango pulp in the european market and over the time these developed countries have started using value added products instead of buying raw mango and then converting it into pulp or other products they would prefer buying already processed or already uh, made product a product which is ready and they have nothing to do but they would consume it already so these are the problems which are faced by fruit farmers of pakistan so i hope this topic was clearly understood but still if there are questions if there are misconceits if you have problems i would like to hear from you so let's discuss your questions let's discuss your problems in the discussion time